What's up, Faith family? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your faith friend, Marquita, and I post weekly content, faith-based content here on YouTube. So I haven't been here for a while, and if, you want, if you've been wondering where I've been, or if you haven't been wondering where I've been, I'm gonna tell you where I've been. Anyway, we have been on another, another faith journey. And so I say another faith journey because we are, we, we moved to LA about almost three years ago. Um, and we were, well, we were in LA for three years. And if you haven't checked out that video of lessons I learned while I'm in LA, you can check that out. I'll post that. But uh, God has called us on another journey, y'all. And so in July uh, 1st of this year, 2023, my family and I relocated from LA, from the West Coast to the East Coast, y'all. And the reason I'm saying East Coast is because we've left LA but we're still not in the city that we, or the state that we've been praying for. Um, we're actually right now in Atlanta, that's our hometown. So we've been here spending time with family just while we commute back and forth and just pray and ask, God, ask the Lord to open doors in the city where we wanna go. So y'all, I'm still in the middle of this, of this faith thing, right? And it has been a very long, long, long trusting God kind of season. And when we first set out on this journey, I knew that this was going to be different than anything we had done before, any move before. I didn't know why, I didn't know it was gonna be this long and all this, it's just a lot that's been happening. So what I started doing back in April, because I knew something was gonna be different about this, I started recording and documenting just my feelings and steps and things that were happening on the journey because I wanted to share with you what it looks like taking steps of faith sometimes right everybody everything is different this is my experience with this move right every move that we've made has been different um but i wanted to show real the real emotions the real the fear that is sometimes there but stepping out to do it anyway so i started recording back in april documenting every day sorry for the cars in the day i'm outside but every day just documenting and so what i'm going to start doing is coming here every week hopefully twice a week y'all so make sure you are you like comment and subscribe so you don't miss um what i'm going to be sharing because i do want to get you caught up but um, i'm going to do just like what i'm doing today a little bit of narration and then take you to the clip and then talk come back and talk afterwards so y'all i want you to uh make sure you're connected and check out this clip this is when we first we first felt like god was calling us to move i recorded this today is april the 7th i am out here on my prayer walk and i just wanted to record a video where we have that nudge to relocate um this next place though that we relocate we do feel like it's going to be home um it's going to be where we purchase a home and where we begin to really build for the future we're in california right now we have some places narrowed down that we're praying about but i promise you there is like literally no evidence of where we are supposed to really be going yet we've been praying for clarity i believe god has given us clarity in one area he's made one area clear but we still don't know where we're supposed to go um honestly it's frustrating it is like yeah, come on God you know because our prayer is that if God is calling us to relocate it is this summer while our daughter is on break from school and then she can start a fresh uh 12th grade in a fresh a fresh place um so you know what like these are those times these are those middle frustrating moments when you know God has called you to do something but you don't have the full picture so like yeah, I just have to focus on where I am right now and trust God and take it one day at a time and plant small seeds like the place where I think we're supposed to go. I've been trying to talk to recruiters, connecting with people on LinkedIn and all that kind of stuff. Like for me, those are seeds of faith. Um, I'm going to start decluttering some stuff in the house, um, just little pieces at a time um and because i know if god says move that has to be done anyway so that's another faith step um just starting now even though i don't know where we'll be but yeah so that's where we are as of april 7th 
feeling like God is saying it's time to move, but not knowing where. So yeah, that was part one of your girl um, on this crazy, crazy faith journey. And I just wanted to really be intentional this time about sharing with you because I, I hate fear. I hate the enemy. Like I hate them. I don't use hate, but I really hate that because God has called us to do some amazing things as, as Christians, as believers. But fear and doubt and all of these things always keep us from doing what God has called us to do. And we have so much purpose. There's so much more in this life for us and so much impact that we can make if we would just trust the Lord and not allow fear to hold us back. And so that is one of the things because I just wanted to encourage you guys as my community to not be afraid it might not be moving out of state for you right it might be applying for a school um it might be applying for a new job it might be leaving something right it might be starting something you know it could be something as small as forgiving not even small it's not small it's really big actually it could be uh, something like forgiving some forgiving someone you're afraid to forgive like just so many things but whatever it is god wants you to do i just want to be the one to share my experience to show you that that it can be done it, it might not be easy but it can be done and so um i just ask you guys continue to pray for us as we're still on the journey still in the middle pray for my family i want to pray for you guys so if you have any prayer requests or you're like i want to do something i want to apply for this school but i'm nervous i want to do this drop it in the comments i want to be praying for you um as well as if you see somebody's prayer request in the comments pray for them as well be um yeah that's where we are so you guys stay tuned for part two of our faith journey <laughs>